When the bell goes for recess, I get anxious about who I'm going to talk to for the next seven minutes. When I walk, I walk fast to pretend like I have somewhere to go to avoid looking lost. When I'm talking with a group of people, I place myself right in the middle out of fear of being shoved aside. When no one talks to me, I pull my phone out as if there's something more interesting going on through a screen than what's right in front of me. Someone once told me that if I just stopped trying so hard, people would like me more. That I focus too much on doing things to help myself rather than find the time for others. They laughed as they told me that I'm too busy kissing ass and letting guys stare at mine to find someone who truly cares about me. And I just stood there. I let the words fall off their tongue as they became concrete for the wall of insecurities I've built myself over the past five years. I could blame it all on high school, the stress, the workload, the instability, the expectations. But in reality, I know I should put the blame on myself. I've tried way too hard for people I know don't want me until they can't have me. I've been the bad guy, then preached for innocence. I've confessed feelings to people who I know can't reciprocate them, just to remind myself how cruel the world really can be. Sometimes I just found myself letting it all happen. I like to think we all did. To be honest, I never truly grasped the concept of friendship. I've always had friends, just never felt like I've given enough of myself to them. Maybe I've just never been happy with what I have to offer. I usually deal with things on my own now, more than I used to. Even when people think they know why I'm crying, they really don't. You see, spilling my secret emotions to people never really appealed to me. Could someone really know something to never say it again? How could they even really know what I'm feeling? Scotoma is the medical condition where one has a partial loss of vision in a normal visual field. Sometimes I feel like when people look at me, they only have a partial view of where my insecurities lie. Ever since I was young, I've romanticized the idea of what I think my relationship should be. I've never had a relationship last longer than two years without complications. My friendship is like a bomb. It can stay a steady tick for ages, but one wrong pull and there's nothing left. Even those who do stay around, I often fear is just for the comfort of feeling wanted. Isn't that what we all kind of want, just to feel wanted? They say that some people in your life will bring out the worst in you. In my life, I feel like people just don't bring out anything anymore. And I don't know what's worse. I couldn't even point out where the issue lies if I tried. I couldn't tell you if I chose to be alone or if other people made me be. It kind of just happened that way. If I love you, you'll come to realize I apologize a lot. I'll even apologize for apologizing so much. I'll apologize until there's nothing left to apologize for because that's how much I need people in my life. That's how desperate I am for people in my life. Real relationships are about vulnerability, allowing people to see sides of you that no one else does and trusting them not to hurt you with it. I often question if I've ever let people see those sides besides you. You see, you rewrote the way I look at people. You described independence for me in a way I didn't know possible. Your demeanor screamed carelessness, but your personality was exactly what I needed and was the very definition of what being my own person was. It still is. With one glance, you can make the world stop spinning so fast even when my mess of a life keeps begging it to go faster. Your smile is bigger and brighter than any insecurity I've ever had. You see, ever since I met you, ever since I met you, I don't worry about who I'm gonna talk to when the bell rings. When I walk, I walk slowly because I'm okay with having nowhere to go. When I'm talking to people, I let the conversation lead me. And when I have nothing to do, I don't pull out my phone anymore because the very best thing I could possibly have is right in front of my eyes, you.